In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the Labor Forecasting feature. Labor Forecasting allows you to sample data from a previous time frame to help calculate your future roster requirements. Once Labor Forecasting is enabled, coloured bar graphs of your predicted appointment demand as well as walk-in demand will be displayed on the roster. This will help you plan out your roster more efficiently and avoid being overstaffed or understaffed on any given day. You'll first need to enable Labor Forecasting in your settings. To do this, click on the Setup menu and select Configuration. On the left hand side, click on General, then select the General icon. Tick this box to enable Labor Forecasting, then click Done and restart shortcuts to apply the change. To complete a forecast, click on the Tools menu and select Roster. You'll notice that two new columns have appeared on the left hand side. These columns will show your predicted appointment demand and predicted walk-in demand once you've completed a forecast. You'll also notice that the forecast button has appeared at the bottom of the screen. Click on the button to start a forecast. First enter the forecast period. This is the date range you want to forecast labor for. When entering the date range, make sure you enter the end date before the start date. Then select the comparison period. Labor demand from this time frame will be used to calculate your future demand. Make sure the comparison period is the same number of days as the forecast period. And again, be sure to enter the end date before the start date. You also have the option to enter an uplift percentage. This is the increase in business activity since the comparison period. The uplift value will be applied to the comparison period to calculate the forecast period figures. For example, if you're expecting the business to be 10% busier in the forecast period than it was during the comparison period, you would enter a 10% uplift. Then press Compute. To see the results, navigate to the date range you selected as the forecast period. A preview of your forecast will be displayed next to each date on the roster. The appointment column shows labour demand for appointments and the wait column displays demand for walk-ins. Click on an employee's shift to view a full-size labour forecast for that particular day. Here you can choose whether you'd like to view appointment demand or walk-in demand. The graph shows your forecasted labour demand for each hour of the day from left to right. The height of each bar indicates how busy you're expected to be. The higher the bar, the more clients are expected to visit during that time. The colours on the graph represent how effectively your rostered labour will fulfil forecasted demand. Red indicates that forecasted demand heavily exceeds rostered labour. Orange means that forecasted demand slightly exceeds rostered labour. Green indicates that rostered labour will successfully meet forecasted demand. This is the ideal colour you want to see on the graph. And blue means that rostered labour exceeds forecasted demand. If red or orange bars are displayed, you may wish to increase the number of staff rostered at this time. On the other hand, you may want to reduce the number of staff at times when blue bars are displayed. When you're finished viewing a forecast, click Done. At this point, you may wish to make adjustments to your roster to better meet forecasted demands. If you're using the Walk-In Manager, you can specify an optimal wait time and a maximum wait time to be taken into account when forecasting labour demands for walk-in visits. To do this, go to the Setup menu and select Configuration. On the left-hand side, click on General, then select Walk-In. Your wait time options are displayed in the top right corner. Enter your ideal wait time for walk-in clients into the optimal wait field. My optimal wait time is going to be 10 minutes. Then enter your desired maximum wait time. Once you've entered these values, press Done to save your changes. These values will now be used to calculate labour demand for walk-in visits. This means that your labour forecasts will be optimised to suit your desired client wait times. Now that you know how to use the labour forecasting feature, you can plan out your roster more efficiently.